now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Caesar Corneo, weather rate certified 10 years in a row. It's all blue skies and smiles for our Monday, and that's really what we can continue to expect here around the Wasatch Front for today, but as we go into tomorrow, that's where we see a few changes. Again, the calm start to the work week, but we have an incoming system and much colder air moving in. And do we see any dry periods going into the next seven days? Well, it looks like we do have a little bit of an exception, and we'll talk about that in just a bit. But we love all the snow that we've been getting, already seeing the next system making its way through here over top of British Columbia and moving on into the inner, inner mountain west. So that's where we will start to see slowly but surely more wet weather going into the middle of the work week. And when we look at storm tracker radar, few showery areas, mostly for the higher elevations. Nothing really affecting us here towards the valleys, just due to that lack of moisture. But overall, this is still setting us up to have a very, very active Tuesday and Wednesday. And when we look at future cast, that's really what's denoted here. We'll start to see slowly but surely by Tuesday morning around the Caribou Highlands and around southern Idaho. That's where we'll have that snow slowly building in moves into the Cache Valley, parts of northwest Utah as well by lunchtime. And as we go towards the evening commute, if you have to drive north on I-15 between Logan and Salt Lake City, that's where we can start to see some issues. Again, it starts to fill in more into the over excuse me evening hours overnight really picks up into Wednesday could see a little bit of a messy morning commute as well, especially around the I-15 corridor where some of this still continues even into Wednesday evening. Look at that Cedar City. We'll still see a little bit of that snow going into Thursday, drying out, just seeing those cooler temperatures really holding on. And that's why we have these winter weather advisories and a winter storm warning for the mountains. So again, we could see some heavy snow in a few of these areas starting by Tuesday morning, lasting until Wednesday evening. And when we look at snow totals for right now, again, not going to see a ton of snow, but definitely a good amount here in the valleys. The northern, excuse me, the mountains will definitely benefit from this, especially the cottonwoods. But over towards the central and southern valleys, not going to see a bunch, maybe a trace. And some of the higher valleys will get a little bit more snow. Looking at our temperature trend, it'll definitely be very chilly compared to what we're normally here around for this time of year. And when we look at the regional forecast for tonight and tomorrow, temperature really cool down once again into the teens and 20s and then only into the 40s by the time we get into the afternoon hours for most areas. St. George's seven day forecast seeing those temperatures stay, stay around the 50s, even 60s, cooling down by the time we get to Thursday with a late evening chance of shower activity, rain mostly by Wednesday evening. Wasatch Front, all of that activity starts to wrap up by the time we get to Thursday and then colder by Friday and even still lingering below average into Saturday. But if you want to stay ahead of all this wet and winter like weather, well, be sure to download the Pinpoint Weather app on your smart device using the QR codes on the screen or through your app store. Stick around for more news.